Welcome back to 6 News at 10. Time to take a look at your weather. We're starting off in the 10 o'clock hour with the last straggling rainstorm on the radar, and that is right here, right along the Navasota River between Hearn and Leon, or for, between Robertson and Leon counties. Right now, again, the heaviest localized rainfall falling just to the east of the Navasota River, just a little bit south of Marquez, and then just off to the northwest of Normandy. Some of that rain coming down somewhat hard right now, 1.78 inches per hour, and these storms aren't really moving. So when you see these rain rates close to two inches, usually these storms are moving along. If we really have to worry about accumulations or anything like that. But when we take a look at these storms, they haven't really gone anywhere. Everything has kind of been over Robertson and Leon counties for most of the evening. And again, this is over the last hour or so. You see these storms just holding on. So some areas could be dealing with some localized flooding along some of their roadways with that. And that's it, my friends. That's all that we have left. Everybody else quiet this evening. We'll stay quiet for the rest of the night as well. And really, unfortunately, today the last chance we really had at seeing that rain this week because we are still down. We still definitely need the rain, but I think the chances are going to go from slim to none as we head on towards the rest of the week. Taking a look over the last few hours here, you can see just that one little area of the Brazos Valley. That's it. That's the only rain we've seen. Everybody else. Not even really dealing with any cloud cover this afternoon, this evening, and really for much of the day. So what is the setup right now? We still have what is left of that front that came through over the weekend, hanging out near the coast here, and that is providing the focal point for some development. We also have a couple of disturbances moving along in that northwesterly flow as that ridge of high pressure starts to build back in. And so that means a little bit of rain for parts of Texas. Not a lot for us here in the central Texas area or the Brazos Valley. A hundred today for Easterwood Airport and Bryan College Station. The record high is 103. Got very close to that 12 degrees above average and really four or five degrees warmer than everybody else across the six news viewing area too. So it feels late and it is late. Our Last 100 degree day, of course, for 2023 was today. Our average last 100 degree day, well, that was a month ago on August 27th. The latest 100 degree day we've ever had in a year was August 6th, 1892. So, of course, we want to put a little bit more of a modern spin on it. So, the latest 100 degree day in the modern era was September 29th, 2011. And today is the latest 100 degree day since 2011. Out there right now, cooling off nicely, lower 80s, upper 70s, but there is still a little bit of that mugginess in the air dew points in the 60s in the eastern half of the area and with that tonight we won't drop a whole lot further right around 70 degrees for most of us close to 100 again tomorrow and we're going to stay hot my friends we're going to stay right there in the mid and upper 90s all the way into the weekend the sunshine will be abundant those rain chances have gone away a very consistent forecast for the next seven days we'll be right back